a very good morning team this is amir mustafa and today we'll be learning one of the most used ai service of azure it is called form recognizer we'll be understanding each and every detail of this service feature offered by form recognizer as well as we'll be going to implement in our cloud azure portal so let us start with this so what is a form recognizer and when do we need it form recognizer is an azure ai service to extract data from scanned form or documents for example when we go to a hospital for admitting a patient we fill out uh, there is one format patient entry document now suppose 100 of the people 100 of the patient have entered that detail you can consider it in millions lots of document can be there now suppose consider from the other end now user have to take out those information need to take out manually all those data and we have to store it somewhere what if there is a service there is an application which can extract data from directly from the scanned copy of those document and save it in a database or process it downstream to the another application yeah so this is the service form recognizer is basically used for the same whenever we give them give an application a document of similar nature for example vehicle registration form patient admit form cash withdrawal form any document so user so application can itself extract the data and save in a database let's see what are the features of the azure form recognizer service i'll try to say in a very uh, simpler way but more we'll see in the uh, portal itself uh, we have also uh, this uh, will also share this link of this document but let us understand the core features the more interesting part so basically form recognizer capabilities are layout pre built general key value pair custom forms I need not uh, worry about this these are actually uh, when we go to the azure portal let us parallelly go and see also because i believe that learn doing implementing is the best part so we are in azure portal we go to the cognitive service cognitive services now cognitive service deals with lots of ai features this is a next world lots of thing to understand from here so we will be using in that form recognizer so basically this is the form recognizer we give one search over here it will come directly yes all right so we'll be going into form recognizer studio need not worry about this we will be covering each and everything in detail doing theory and practical at the same time parallelly okay so we are in our form recognizer studio and basically we have lots of feature over here like read so uh, we are recording in 2023 so they have added lots of new thing earlier they were only layout and general document they have added read layout general document this is the part of document analysis then we have pre built models custom model we'll be coming to them one by one okay you have seen in the demo so what is a layout extracting data from the form we'll be seeing all of these in the model itself let us see and i'll try to make things in a simple way so the first thing we'll be seeing is called a layout see all of them share common property we'll be seeing one or two from each of the rows similar type of thing 
so if we go to the layout and over here let me also go to the layout form recognizer studio so as a developer see there are lots of services we have opened the first one which is the layout api so now suppose we have a document document can be anything it can be a newspaper document it can be any document so they provided lots of sample over here we can also upload our own document the left side part of this is called form recognizer screen where document has been recognized by the form recognizer see from here we can upload a document pop up will come and we can upload a document if we have once it is done the next thing what we'll do is click analyze button when we click analyze button basically what we are seeing that the document is been read and data is extracted in a json format so that we can process those document data So if we come over here, we have this data, this data, this data. So all this data which we are seeing over here is being understood by the form recognizer, the layout API. So being a developer from developer side, how it will help? See what is being recognized. So we have SDK for all of these. If we come over here na, and we see. We are seeing everything in a form recognizer studio. The same can be implemented in our application using SDK in so many languages. So what we'll get, we see it is recognized paragraph, title, data. Overall, if you want to see, we extract JSON, we got the JSON from the document itself. So this is basically the first API in form recognizer it's called layout and uh, one cool feature which I feel we feel that it is like we have in postman we go to code we get the code itself over here code snippets so what we can do over here is when we click over here based on the technology in which we are writing code say JavaScript Python C hash dot net so based on that we can change our code we have a snippet to implement this so it is cool now that we can get these feature let me try with another one this is a document to store and share so this is a document in which we have some we can see that it's a printed document and been written handwritten and then rescanned some text are there and some computerized text are also here so let us go and click analyze again we observe that computer have recognized some of the data and uh, see whatever is highlighted those things are recognized by the machine by the form when we say form machine here we think that machine is being controlled by form recognizer api so let's see what we have got if we go to the result and see the api we see these data over here okay and one thing to note whenever we work in ai world artificial intelligence and machine learning there's one key associated with it it is called confidence so whenever machine gives any data it also gives with the confidence level like 70 percent confident 95 percent confidence so this anything above 70 percent 80 percent is mostly correct and we get over here see confidence level lots of data are there let me come back to the our documentation so we have seen the first api it is called layout so in the layout basically what happened we can upload any document and it gives it gives us data so this is one of the basic first document see we have uploaded document but it is not 
uh, in a sense we can upload any data it is not categorized like okay it is a uh, it can be a newspaper it can be a patient receipt we can upload anything over here so it's more based of a general api we can see that form recognizer scanned this document and gave us the this data itself in the api format in the json format now we can you utilize and send it to downstream the second set of this model it is called pre-built model now what do you mean by pre-built model let us go to the form recognizer so pre-built model what are pre-built model see now suppose if we have a how can we frame this suppose we have five set of documents we go to a bank or a hospital we see in this shelf five set of document being kept one is for suppose cash withdrawal slip second is the cash deposit slip next can be any other slip say uh, any slip means there are five set of document slip whenever a customer comes a user comes based on his requirement pulls the document from the shelf we can there can be registration vehicle registration document so what we are i'm trying to say is pre-built model are some of the recognized documents which are already done from microsoft and itself for example invoices we know what can be the most of the uh, data to be extract from invoice next is receipt business card id card vaccination card health insurance card contract w2 so many are there some of the recognized structure so let us see them so they provided lots of sample over here first card second card actually this is all are part of the same document now see document may have more than one pages right so all these scanned copies are visible if we upload the document by default it can extract page one page two so we can select okay please extract of page one mostly what great i feel about microsoft is that it gives us in similar feature you will find this field content result code but we'll understand the difference okay so let us click the analyze button mostly based on the document size now if it's having 10 pages 5 pages it takes max 2 minutes Best to analyze operation form recognizer okay so there is a there is a one limit I'm, I'm using a free trial for now so they they have we have to wait for a minute uh, what I'll be doing I'll be pausing the video and retry in one minute So we are back now i've just hit the api and we got the result so basically uh, when we are working in the during the initial form recognizer studio no it gives us free plan so it gives us some limit so okay in one minute you can hit four times or five times only obviously for paid subscription there is no limit so what we have done is we have uh, this document we are seeing pre-built model in the pre-built model we are seeing invoice so this is a, an example of an invoice so we have some receipt uh, we have some item data okay what one first item second item some all the fee which is included some tax printing fee etc so when we run 
whenever we say the word analyze means we have started the form recognizer machine to analyze okay what it has predicted from this document see this document has been predicted so by default in the form recognizer so by default uh, so by default in the form recognizer console what will happen is this if we come over here see it has detected the amount this price it will also reflect in the uh, this amount itself like this 610 dollar this billing address everything is recognized so i'll be trying to explain from both the user perspective as well as developer perspective so this whenever in this application we are using this api in our project cannot disclose the name but we are using this feature so whatever we are seeing over here similar type of structure is also visible there so what will happen this console will be integrated in the app in the right side bar will also be visible this is these are controllable like fields content which we what we need result we get the json api response now think we are getting the json response and all this response all this data which we are getting over here we can see we can also see that uh, uh, form recognizer is smart with tables as well it has predicted okay there are two tables or so if we click over here we it says okay there are four rows some rows some column so when we click over here we see that we get the all the data over here so this is cool right so think uh, if you are if you are thinking from one perspective okay we have one document then why implementing this feature but think from the perspective of a business or a company whose requirement did they deal with millions of data they have lots of uh, what we say say a hospital has lots of is it is connected with lots of information patient is coming there are lots of form 100 from say, say suppose in india they are having more than 500 branches or 1000 branches of that hospital and from everywhere that document is coming so they will they can do it manually that's true but this feature this if there is an application which itself can extract data if we provide the scan copy and store in the database it becomes very easy yeah but provided we have to have some pre-built model there's also something called custom model we will also do it understand in in some time so pre-built by pre we have seen that we have some kind of structure over here by invoice we mean we are having bill a specific structure now it can be of any format likewise uh, we have code snippets available over here if you want to integrate in our code this is for python likewise it is available for three language at present python javascript and c hash dot net so based on that we can implement it okay So documented it here also we can go through the steps now the third type of document is general purpose API see I'll try to explain the difference also see in the previous one that was layout that we can put anything any document so the with pre-built model we have set of document for example we have seen the first one let's try to see the second one any anyone can be fine say id card okay now they have provided suppose this is the driving license card and so many cards detail are here okay let me take this as an example this card and when we run form recognizer uh, in case if we get that error now i'll try to pause the video and get the result if some so we got the result now see what what information uh, form recognizer extracted from this 
found the country detail where it is seat is highlighted in the document date of birth is there date of expiration is there date of issue is there document id is there so this is a fake document obviously so if we put document of the similar nature name is there first name last name and some of the detail uh, we we see this type of information and in mostly i think uh, passport or so this is basically a system recognized machine readable language so all the information is extracted the same we can do from for the other document also okay let me go to pre built model i'll try taking one more as an example so mostly all of them uh, follow same pattern but the difference in pre model is uh, as we have discussed if we enter into a uh, hospital or a bank we see list consider those time where we had hard copies kept in the shelf there can be a invoice there can be a receipt withdrawal form entry form set of document are separated so likewise everything is same but they are structured documents all document of different categories so if we go to the next one say what is a health card one take vaccination it is opening in the new page let me take a receipt Okay, receipt sample is there. So suppose we ate in Magdi, <laughs> and we got the this receipt. Now they are saying, okay, you have taken this Surface Pro, Surface Pen. This is the amount. This is the tax, and everything is here. And likewise, we can have here multiple. Yeah, the actual bills scan copy we are giving. Like we put in the apps now. We have Zoom Car and all the apps. So let us take one example, and it can be of in any language. Okay. So let let me take this one only, the one in English. So let me run. Analyze. Okay. So see what are the things which machine understood from this form rec extracted. What data is extracted by them? Okay. It. found okay there is some merchant address is there content they also have given okay they are 98% confident mostly anything above 70% now it is most of the five most of the time it is correct they have given house number road pin code postal code state merchant name can be anything it can be magdi sub total so see all those information are extracted we have this information from developer so, so from user point of view you have seen that okay we are getting so many document from cold perspective we are getting this chase all this information are here which we see here no everything is here the same thing but in a json format which we need so we can process accordingly as per the requirement of the application so mostly uh, what we do is that we extract information and process downstream so or anything basically form recognizer job is to extract data from the document it can be a physical document it can be i mean scanned handwritten document yeah so we have seen that okay this is a pre built document so layout is a simple any document extract tables check boxes form and document pre built document are the extract data from unique document types following pre built model the third type we'll see is general document it can extract label value entities such as name date amount now this is one document and let me show in the portal itself 
the idea is to recognize which API to use. See, most of them are giving the same thing. In the end, what it is doing, extracting data, but which one to choose, that is important. So see, this is one document. It looks like a document with uh, Security Exchange Commission. This can be, a, say, a government document. We have now lots of document like tax document, Exchange Commission document. Every document has its number, government number. So let's analyze it. See what all the data it took, these data, transition period. So all these information are extracted. Content, result, code. So basically, these are we use general purpose mainly over there where pre default one fails mainly uh, we get okay if we have the way of understanding is that uh, see if we have the if it is under the category of pre built model go for pre built model otherwise go for general purpose model if it is not in general purpose model go for go for this one layout So this is the next type of API. And the most important one, we'll be covering this now, okay. which is called custom model C. We know that, okay, we have a unstructured document, we can go layout. If we have structured some specific set of document, we can go to pre-built model. If uh, if they are one of these, a general document. But now, let me come back and see over here. Now, what if there is a document which is company specific or you can say, if I am, suppose say, suppose if I am, I am a, how to say this? If suppose if I am, I am an employee of one of the hospitals, say Ames, Ames Delhi. Now think that we have our structure only. If we go to any pharmacy, na, they have their structure of organizing medicine, A, B, C, till Z, Z. So they put according, everyone have their ways of arranging things or document. So there can be some of the document which is not global or national means recognized. Every every uh, uh, every business or company has their way of document. Some document which are custom, but it is used in their companies in a similar pattern. So for that, we have a feature called custom model. And this is very simple. Let us understand. Okay, so in the custom model, basically, uh, previously uh, Formrec uh, recently have introduced a new version called Formrec 3. They had uh, Formrec 2, 2 point something. So basically, uh, there is two types of, uh, what we say, two type of custom model. One is template. This is mostly used. And the new one is, which is recently been introduced is Neural. Both of them are mostly the same. From developer point of view, we are using it. How to say is that this one is faster. This take off mode of the data. This extract even deeper level of information, but it takes little bit slower. API hit response. We can choose accordingly based on the. If the document is seeing uh, ten pages, we can go with the template. Neural one is recently been introduced, so they have some data but both of them follow similar structure we click create a project we write the name say w9 parser okay continue subscription i'll be choosing this one resource group i'll be choosing cognitive can be anything we can create new as well by resource group we mean just a group of stack of this 
platform declaration like what are we are using like we right now okay this is for dev environment we can write dev prod and then after that we go for next what happened form declaration okay this one is this and this one is there the what what i am trying to tell over here is from now what we will do over here na that will require some of the permissions and configuration so what in this third step i am not sure why it is not going over there let me show from screenshot which i have already done okay second step it goes over there in the third step what it does na we are in this step basically over here it ask for permission we hit continue in the third step basically we see there are it ask for something see okay uh, it ask for as your storage account so we have to create one storage account by storage account i mean if you are if you are from aws world cloud storage account is just like s3 we are storing files over there and we need one path we have to give over here so for this we need to create storage account can be created from here go to a storage account we have some storage account but this will require more lot of configurations configuration in the end is that uh, four things is required one we need storage account if we go to the storage account there is blob type so inside blob we can store n number of document over here just like s3 of aws cloud and finally two types of permission is required we need path for the path what we do in aws we have path na no? that suppose we go to the properties we need this path and we also have to make this url accessible either specific access form recognize can access it or global public so for by default this path is not readable if we hit over here we will get not required and the third thing okay so we have seen over here is it requires storage account we have seen from there blob storage we need a path and permission by permission we have to set permission in form rec that to access this storage account for that only we are giving over here but also in storage account we have to give permission okay this service can access it this service can access it this service cannot access it basically blacklist whitelist thing once those configuration is done na are done then only we can proceed but we have already have created in a way there is the in a microsoft portal they have explained in a very beautiful way to understand it but we will be easily understanding it let us start now custom model okay so for custom model first we will be seeing high level overview we will require we have to follow these four steps first is prepare now see suppose suppose if in my uh, what we say suppose if i work in a hospital and we have one document over there we have one custom document of our own in our suppose company but that is common in our company throughout so what we have to do now suppose we have printed the page what we'll do now is prepare five document sorry let me explain in a better way i'll be coming okay for using a custom model we basically use this four steps one is prepare second is label third is train fourth is analyze we'll be seeing all one by one so in prepare what happens it this is the 
structure which is uh, from Microsoft side. We have to follow this. <coughs> For this, we go to custom model. See, once this is passed, na? suppose this is passed, we have created one custom model. Suppose our custom model name is W9 parser. So W9 parser is the is basically a some tax related form in US. So basically what we have to do that is not uh, our main concern over here means that is one category which we have created say likewise we have one common form which is used inside our organization or in a place okay so simil five similar document is uploaded okay by it all of five are having the same format data can be different handwritten or typed computerized can be different that is the first thing which is prepare the second step is called label see we are doing custom model so no such thing exists in microsoft end so we are trying to make machine understand what type of document we are doing so for that we have to follow these four steps so first step was prepare we uploaded five document second step is called label now for label what we have to do is see the screen what we are doing if we have clicked the first document there is one plus sign icon is there for which we can add label by label we basically mean tags we go to instagram okay we add a photo we write over there okay this photo is of nature this photo is of food this photo is of what we say celebrity so by label we are actually putting in some categories we are custom adding us categories in a document we know this is the document from our side we know that what kind of categories will be there for example there can be name address some internal code like uh, uh, employee code or some of the keys which that document will have all the five document are of same type only okay so we are adding all the field okay so we go to the plus sign now label can be of the four type it can be of the field it can be of the check mark it can be of the signature and it can be the table so if uh, if we are after adding we are adding the tags after that we'll go to the document select it and put it under this category so if it is inside table we'll choose table format if it is a text we'll choose field format selection mark signature likewise so all the thing which we want for example for making it simple we have five field only name address signature ein suppose that's a one of the thing needed in this document this six letter document whatever tags are required we have created tags okay now over here what we'll go i hope it will be visible clearly now what we have to do if we go over here this is a document we click the document please give me a minute field type okay till where we have seen okay so for adding the label first first step what we did we added five document that was prepared next step we click this plus icon we added as many label we require we want to so label was of four type it can either be field this one table signature and select check mark selection mark second step is done now in the second step what we have to do now tag is created now we have to tag the word in the document so example one i'll zoom it for so in the document first what we'll do select the word once we select the word what happens 
this pop-up comes in all the list of tags okay you want to keep this in which tag photography name address amount based on the tags we have created we have created tags to tag this word so this is name of the person so we have added in the name tag done so once it is done now see every tag over here will have will be given some color by default i think so once tagging is done now that color border comes okay red now if suppose we tag the second one now this is a business name once we select that this is also done now next one is there is one checkbox okay this is uh, this is a physical document scan but the document have one checkbox we want to put it under some checkbox category say we have created one name other as the tag for this so we select this and get highlighted now from here we choose other and likewise we have address we have tagged address zip code added lots of tagging over here so all best possible tagging can be done now one one cool thing uh, that we have to understand some of the word we don't know okay this should be in which tag but we know that this space should be okay in the signature field so we click region from here once we click region now what happen instead of selecting the word one text area comes and we can choose it okay this region part of this tag selecting some space okay this one is called ein this is actually a sample of w9 format this is one of the document so they have ein number in this document this is unique to this document specific so they have created a cin we put it in the ein tag region for we have selected region then this is a signature area so we have added signature okay so we have done the tagging of the document inside the document we have done for one document we have done tagging now the next step what we have to do is we have to uh, we have uploaded five documents that was prepared in the second step we have added first tags that was second step and part of the second step was we have tagged also selected the word and added the okay this word is of this tag this word is pointing to this tag that part also done the third step which we will do over here if we go back to the this one is called train train a model and then last one is analyze so now we will come over here and click this button which is called train training a model means making form recognizer know which tag field data to extract okay now once till now we have done once we click train button it means form recognizer will learn okay have to extract this data and one thing to note is that whatever words which we have tagged na those information will be extracted number of data tagged is equal to number of data extracted we are trying uploading a custom document how will form recognizer know for that we have tagged okay i need this data this data this data so all those data will be extracted so for clicking then there is a button called train when we click train this pop up comes model id from here we can give any id from the code perspective we can add the id number and hit the train button once training completes we see that we gets the information okay name business card all these data with confidence level accuracy level before moving to the last part of this custom model which is called analyze one important thing is called table label see this looks lots of information in this video but trust me when when we'll be doing implementing these in the table and comes very helpful so we have a was field type 
field type signature type there was an also a model in the one of the four checkbox we have seen which is table type so the document didn't had table so suppose if in the custom model we have uploaded a document which has tables in it let us now go to the fifth document think as a steps we have uploaded five document in the fifth document so we have to tag each and every document the label which we create that is once for all the document then we can go to all the five document and do the tagging why we need that tagging because suppose we buy a phone we put a fingerprint unlock they ask us to put in different variations so that it can machine can understand faster okay see you so now okay we click the plus type we, there is one table type we click this and we named it maintenance log okay now for tagging how we'll do table tagging okay so for table tagging we click this maintenance we it is important to observe by default form recognizer c punch table checkbox is created over here this means that form recognizer is understood okay there is a table here so when we click the first item we actually select highlight the first item and then tap over here the first row means similar way we have to do highlight the first cell first row first column over here also tap first row first column so we will we have a screenshot so we go here and tap it we see data will come and likewise we select the second one we tap it over here second one comes now if we want to select the second row what we'll do we hit this plus button it was there another cell came we highlighted this tapped over here so likewise we tag all the data all five documents are of same format data can be different so as told so we have to do tagging of all the document fifth fourth third in if we do tagging in variation machine can understand faster now what we have to do okay so once tagging is done we click the train button when we click train button it means form recognizer knows which data to extract done and we will be doing the final piece i know this video has been a long video but this is the final piece of this document it is called uploading new document so till now the effort what we have done i mean for this step only uploading new document we have actually for pre built model everything was done by microsoft side okay we upload the invoice extract the data but for custom model what about custom model so we have added five sample added tags tagged in the document did the training of the five document there can be more document but minimum is five now what we'll do we have to upload the document this is now suppose everything is done okay now form recognizer knows that okay this is a part this is a custom model and part of our form recognizer also now if we go over here upload this model uh, at the time of uploading it asks this is part of which model so we choose a model name over here car maintenance this one is car maintenance the one which vehicle number is there okay so what happens once we click add button now we are uploading one we have uh, one form we have scanned it now think fresh user is coming a patient is coming uploading that document okay patient admit form now he uploads this one he have written all his details of this format this is actually for the vehicle motor vehicle when we click analyze button this time this is the fourth step prepare label training that those three was a part of common the fourth one is the every time the purpose uh, person uploads a new document we see that all the information is now extracted over here and data is extracted over there yeah so we have
finished custom model no. okay now what about if we want to implement in a project okay till now we have gone to the uh, form recognizer from the browser and over here we have gone to the SDK I mean we have gone to the studio in the Azure portal itself we were seeing so there we have SDK and REST APIs for Python, Java, JavaScript and it is very active in project because I think most of the technologies will cover now soon in some time so we can go suppose I am a mostly JavaScript specialist so if I go to JavaScript see they have very beautifully documented okay this is for JavaScript person all the steps are over here take out the API there is a package SDK is there we can use it and implement in a project so similar in the end what will happen similar type of interface will be visible in the application there will be one screen this screen where document will be parsed by form rack there will be one sidebar screen where document will come over here okay so we can implement it and let us do the quick recap we'll be doing just for quick understanding so form recognizer is basically a AI powered by Azure cloud it whenever if we want to extract information from the document you will use this service of Azure so we have basically one layout mainly if the document is can be any document if you're not sure it is a part of which document we can use layout general document if we know that we have document see mostly if we are working with uh, what we say hospital so they know that they have invoice they have receipt some of the these id cards so we can use pre-built model so they have see so much time is saved if it is a part of pre-built model and finally if there is some structured document in the which is used but uh, it is not a part in this azure we can go to the custom model for this we do four things first we prepare it for preparing we upload five copies of the same structured document data can be different we add tags from the document itself we tag the all the document and we train the document and finally at the time of uploading fresh document whenever this will come we will click upload upload the document and see document are extracted itself yeah that's all for the form recognizer i hope you have learned something new and if you have learned something new please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel happy learnings and thank you thank you team if you have come to this far in this video i think uh, you have loved it and uh, yeah thank you that's all for this video